this is a basic introduction to using math in Hypatia. So let's demonstrate this on a simple problem. Uh, say we have to simplify the following. So now let's insert math. So from the math menu, we can choose a numbered math because I want to insert centered math. And we can start putting together our expression that we want to simplify. So from the top menu here, we have basic functions, binary, Greek symbols. I want a fraction. So I can find that under basic and hit fraction, which gives us a fraction. Then on the numerator, I want a sine function. So this can be found under the basic menu and also under the functions menu. But let's just stick with the basic menu. Both will give us the same sine function. For the argument of the sine, I'm going to choose another fraction. And I want this to be pi over 4. So from the Greek alphabet, we can find pi. And by either clicking or using the arrow keys, we can go down to the denominator and choose 4. Again, using the arrow keys to move down into the denominator of the main fraction. Let's say the denominator is going to be a cosine of, again, pi over 4 as before. And this whole fraction, we can move out using the arrow keys. As you can see, there's a little box around the part of the equation that we're editing. So using the arrow keys, we can move from, say, this inside fraction to the denominator of the larger fraction and outside the larger fraction. So I want this whole fraction to be minus 1. And so we can simplify this. We see that this is numbered. I don't really need any numbering in this. I'm only going to have one of these equations. There's no need to refer to it. So from the settings, I'm going to untick numbered. And so we have to make sure that we're outside of the math environment to do this. Uh, we see that the, we're inside the math environment by this box around the math. So we can escape the math environment by either pressing escape like this. We can enter the math environment again using the arrow keys. Or to escape the math environment, we can also use just the right arrow key when we're at the end of the math like that. And now that we're out, we can hit enter and write uh, solution. And for this, instead of using the regular numbered math, let's go ahead and use check math to make sure that our answer is in fact correct. So we can open up a check math evaluate node. And I want to have this expression on the left side. So what I could do is just go back up here and simply drag to select, command or control C to copy, and paste it into the evaluate node if I want to do this quickly. However, I'm going to show you another way that we can type this expression out. So I'm just going to hit Command Z to. So the alternative way to write math, and this way is a little bit faster than picking each um, symbol from the menu, is that each symbol, as you can see from example, the basic menu, has a keyword associated with it. So fraction, the keyword is frac, as you can see by hovering over. For sine, the keyword is sine. And so Hypatia has the ability to convert these keywords into the actual symbols. To make sure that Hypatia is doing this, we can head up into settings. And under user preferences, we can select auto convert. Now we have three options, none, functions, or all. I'll recommend using all functions, only converts functions like sine and cosine, but not symbols like fractions. But for this, I will select all and start typing the document. Now, if you're using this a lot, it'll be easy to remember some of the symbols like fraction, frac, sine, sine, cosine, cos. So you'll get used to it. Let me show you. So as before, we start with a fraction. So I'll type frac. Now, to have this translated and converted into the symbol, we can either press space or continue typing afterwards. So I'll show you by pressing space. There you go. So this frac, some keyword has been converted into the fraction. If we press Control Z, this is undone, and we see that it's frac and then a space. So the space that we entered is still there. We can backspace to get rid of that. Now, the alternative to putting a space is that we can just continue typing. So frac, what's after the fraction? The sine comes after the fraction in the numerator. So we've typed frac, and now I'm going to start typing sine. And as you can see, once I type s, the fraction has already been converted. I'll finish typing sine, and now I want another fraction for the sine argument. So I'll continue typing frac, 
another fraction. In the numerator, I want pi. And in the denominator, 4. So that's really simple. I'm going to do it once more in the big denominator quickly. Cosine frac pi over 4. Using the arrow keys, you can navigate out and all that minus 1. So this is what we have to simplify. So to simplify this, we can see that the sine and cosine both have the same arguments. And so sine of pi over 4 over cosine of pi over 4 is equal to tangent of pi over 4. Tangent of pi over 4 is equal to 1. 1 minus 1 will be 0. But let's make sure that check math works. So for example, let's say that we evaluated this to be 1. We'll see that check math says that we've generated an impossible math error. And in fact, we did. And it highlights that this 1 is incorrect. So we can backspace and change that to 0, which should be the right answer. And we see that it is. But it's conditionally correct because we have a denominator, cosine pi over 4. Check math is just warning us that this denominator should not be 0. Cosine of, uh, pi over 4 is a constant that's non-zero. So we are fine. And that covers our brief demonstration of entering math in Hypatia. Thank you for listening.